This is the mineshaft area, where we have 10 borehole pumps that hang into the mineshaft, each one capable of pumping about 50 litres of water a second. And what we do here is maintain a water level to stop pollution if the river fell. Number two, behind me you'll see the lime plant, which is where we take in powdered lime, mix it with water to create lime slurry. That is to add to the water to treat and raise the pH. Number three, uh, behind me you'll see the pre-reaction chamber, which is where the mine water first enters the tank. It enters through what's called a cascade system, which is a series of crossbars that when the water hits it, degasses the water, removes carbon dioxide and increases reaction speed and efficiency. Number four, this is the reaction chamber. So behind me, the neat mine water enters and is then mixed with a lime slurry, a large mixing unit, and aerated with a blowing compressor. That causes the pH to rise to 9.3 and allows the metals to fall out of the soluble state. Number five, and this is the clarifier. So here the treated water with a higher pH is pushed into the tank. There it's treated with a polymer and that causes the metals to settle out, sink to the bottom of the tank and the clean water rises to the top and outflows.
number six. So behind me is the recirculation and sludge pumps. Uh, each of these pumps is linked to a clarifier. The recirculation pump will pump all of the heavy solids in the bottom of the tank back into the system. The whole idea then is that we're saving money for efficiency and lime reuse. The other pump is a sludge surplus. This pump kicks in at regular intervals to take these solids out of the line and prevent blockages. Number seven, so this is the divert to dam system, which is our fail safe. So below me are these automated valves that are connected to our monitoring equipment for our final effluent, which is our treated water. So as soon as that water goes out of consent, the divert system will open, the pump will shut off, and all of the out of consent water will be sent up to the dam where we can recover it, bring it back, and retreat it later on. Number eight. So behind me is the final effluent chamber. This is where the treated water is collected and from here flows down to Bizzo River and leaves our plant. 